Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And today I have a challenge lock I'm trying to get open again. I managed to get it again without the camera. So we're going to try and look at the... You can already see the alien tech. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stick it here in the vise. Let's pan on over to it. Yeah, tighten it up. Okay. Now, the key is uh, mummied up. It's from Late Night Lock Picker. His 100 subscriber giveaway, lock number two. I had uh, lock um, one and three, I believe. Or three and four. I had two of them. <clears throat> but I didn't have this one. So, let's see if we can get into it. I've got this uh, 60 um, thousandths that fits it a little better. I'm going to try and go left with it. Get the old reach around here. Let's zoom in. There we go. <clears throat> what pick? What pick? What pick? What pick? Hmm. Nice wide open keyway. Let's get a big one in there. I'm going to try the Sparrow's Tron. And reach in and one bind. One's the binder. All right. Ain't even got to go very far. One seems set. Two's loose. Three. Little counter and click. And let it be. Before, got some counter. And overdo it. You overdid it. Number five. There we go. Got those set. Work back down the line. Threes. Oh, slipped. One's got counter. There we go. That was a hard set, wasn't it? One's loose now, so move on to two. Got a little click and some, wow, good movement there. Makes me think there's a T pin holding us up. But, yep, there it was. All right, let me put my stuff up here. Zoom back out, and We'll open it up and see what late night lock picker put inside for us. That was a fun little pick. It jumped around, bounced around a bunch. Oh, we made a pin and trade. I've uh, been playing around with the one Bobby sent me. I'll go with it. I darkened the pin sleeves on it because after I painted it the bronze you really couldn't see the brass pins that well so went with uh, just some old black nail polish from left over from Halloween and uh, went that route with it okay we got it turned Let's see what we get You know, I didn't even shim that thinking I knew there was a T-pin in it. All of them are threaded. Let's drop them out. Wow. Holy mackerel, man. These things are massively modified. And, yep, like I said, all of them are threaded. Let's see if I can straighten these out real quick. Oh, that's weird. 
almost like a driver. All right, we'll get a good close look at them here in a minute. Let's check out what's up top. It's a little teep in itself. Heavily serrated. Got a copper spring. Two is the harsh T pin. That thing is massively sharp. Got a little brass spring or copper or whatever. It's an upside down T pin. I don't know if it would have been more effective right side up. It has certain. Now there's another T pin. Wow. That one there has a sharp cut on the bottom. I'll we'll have to get a good look at. Putting these down as the way they come out. There's a little steel spring. And then last but not least is this one. And it's another upside down T pin. And another little steel spring. And we have threading in every chamber up top. Awesome. Now, let's get a, everybody a good look at these here. Line them up. Get a good close look. These little things are quite cool. He's done a lot of work to them. This is the one that almost looks like a, a, a driver because it's not so rounded on bottom. But that's because he cut right there. These are some fine cuts in that one. Great work on them. Now these here are orientated the way they came out. So that one there was a tiny bit um, smaller diameter. This one was the massively, but it's also shifted. And get a good look at it here you can see that the T pin part of it is shifted only one side so it can work as a T and then it can work as a spool this one here came out this direction the other way would have been a T pin style but it came out this way which makes it a serrated spool and then this one here is a heavily I haven't seen much serrations any more than that before. Let's get a good background. That is crazy. Now it could have used that top spool, but it didn't. It used the T pin on bottom. It's like a multi versatile driver there. And then we have this little beauty, and it's the same way and works as serious serrations in a spool or a T pin spool. Great job on this lock, man. I really do appreciate the chance of picking it. I thank everybody for joining me on this. And uh, I'll sign off with that. Y'all please stay safe. Always stay legit. If you like the video and like what I do, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And until we meet again, peace. Hey guys, I remembered that I didn't show off the key. So I figure I better... See what she looks like here. Maybe it slips out. Yeah. While I was putting it back together, there's your bidding. We'll finish this off by checking it out here. All of it lines up. You can see it moving around there. Smooth. I've already got the Bible loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick this thing back in here. Make sure it works. Take out the key. And we'll stick the back on it. Call it a day on that one. Again, that was an awesome little lock. Thanks for joining me, guys.